Now welcome back. Uh, welcome to Mufu Prof. Uh, Allah is my name. Uh, this time I want to introduce to us another uh, section of uh, learning, uh, which I call uh, Introduction to uh, Statistics and the uh, Morphometrics using PAST. Now, PAST is not just a statistics software, it's more than that. PAST well, is also for morphometric analysis. It does a lot of works. <laughs> It performs a lot of operations. And the past simply means paleontological statistics software package for education and data analysis. I mean, of past uh, statistical analysis that does a lot of works. People, many people are not really familiar with past, even though it has been around for a long time because of uh, its special use and uh, how data is managed around. Past environment, but the past is very simple to use and it's very it's very straightforward and very accurate. So I'm going to be introducing the past to us in the a uh, few times now. So I'll be st I will start in form of series, the lecture. So we'll be looking at it step by step, how to use it for data analysis and the morphometrics. So today I just want to introduce it to us first and how to bring in data into past. That is one of the family challenge in using past, bringing your data in. All right, it's the one of challenge. So the current version of past is 4.03. That's current version 4.03. All right. So you can see you can read more about past here in the uh, in the website here. Just type past software. Don't just don't just type past in the Google to search. Type past software. All right. <laughs> when you type past, you will see many many things will come up that you will not be able to understand. So just type past software. Then you can see a lot of things. So you can see a lot of features of past here, all right, from the, from the website. So and uh, if you are if you are if you are running past on Linux, this is this is just uh, on Windows. If you are running if you are running Mac, you can also go for past Mac on Mac and go to Softpedia to download past for Mac. So here just click on download here. This is uh, for Mac fashion, all right. So take note. I've not used the Mac fashion before. I don't know how it works, but. Uh, uh, I, I, I believe it works fine, like a window or so, so, so ju just uh, it's, it's the same. And the one of the advantage of PASS is that you don't need to install. That is one of the powerful features of PASS. It's, it's built based on Java. You don't need any installation of PASS. It's very portable, that's what I mean. You can just, just when you download, the file is a single file. You just double click and open. If you can open from your pen drive. I mean, if you have a flash drive, just copy the file. The, in the file inside your pen drive and take it to anywhere. Just just double click and open it from your uh, pen drive and use. <laughs> That's all. You don't need to install like uh, other app other applications that uh, you install on your computer. No, it's a very single, singly loaded file. You don't need any installation. That is why why it makes it very powerful. Okay, it's run run on the go. You can use it on the go. Your for your pen drive can use it anytime anywhere. So that is why it's very powerful. So it has a lot of features that many people do not know. But today I just want to introduce to the past uh, software, and then uh, I will be looking at how you can install. Uh, so just just download it from the fashion. You download it here, okay? For for window fashion, for, for Mac fashion, go to uh, Softpedia here. Take it, just go to Google, type past software for Mac, all right? Past software for Mac. Then scroll down uh, to past for Mac here in Softpedia, all right? So you can download uh, to go, take to this particular page. Then you can download free download. So when you click on here, you, it ask you for uh, maybe you want to download from here or from the external mirror. So just click on any one you prefer, and uh, it will take to the link for downloading. All right. So that is uh, when you download, you just uh, copy it. Most of the time, I usually do what I copy it. I put it in my create a folder for it. I put in the folder on my program files, and now right click on it because it's just a single file. And now right click on it. And I will create a shortcut to my desktop. That is how you use it. So now let's let's go and see what I'm talking about. This is the past now, right? 4.03. That's the latest fashion. That's my shortcut here now. I've already downloaded it. So this is just a single file, but I create a shortcut to my desktop so that I, I can access it from here. So it won't be easily delete. Uh, it won't be easily deleted from my disk. So that's why I created a shortcut to it from my uh, program file. So it's not installed. So this is the interface of pass. This pass interface. All right. So when you go to help here, you can see uh, you can you can go to past about 
can see the fashion here right so this is the current fashion pass 4.03 right so it means uh, paleontological statistics software packages package for education and data analysis all right so now the one what i want to show you quickly here before uh, i close today is how to bring in data to your past environment that is has been a so challenge to people over the time because they don't know how to bring in data they, they like past they want to use past but they don't know how to bring their data in that they, they have tried several times but it's not really working so i want to show you very briefly how to bring your data in there are different kinds of data okay that pass allows so i'm just to show you briefly one uh two type of data that uh, you can bring in very easily one of them is a normal uh, 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 tabular data okay normal tabular data is the one of rows and columns that's all that's normal tabular data okay so it tags a base so now for example look at this uh, excel file here okay i have this okay this is a normal file here okay called diabetes all right it's a data set i'm going to be using data for analysis so now this particular data set here now it doesn't have a, it has a you can see the heading here it has heading here which means it has a column okay which is normal for every data set all right it has a column but it doesn't have any row any row any row identity here okay so in in past you, the way you bring in the past is different from the one that has row and there uh, some data doesn't have heading at all okay so pass you just use normal abc for it which is not allowed but uh, you are not permitted to do that because you can't you know people do a proper analysis for that unless you are just creating the data in pass manually for example you want to create manually you can just type manual data here manual data here for yourself okay to, for testing purposes only right but uh, if you want to use a proper data you, you won't be using a b c d as your as your column heading and that, that's, that's that's not proper for normal data right so you have to you have to come with your column heading so every data is supposed to have a column heading normally so now we are, we are bringing in this data now to pass so how do you just copy it just control a I copy it or you drag over it to copy it control c in excel all right so you, you now go to pass okay i've opened my pass now what do i what do i do because that this data set it has a go look at it again it has a column heading right it has column heading here but no row no row heading there's no row heading. so just uh, from from this place down to this place so what do, what do i do now i come to pass i say I press column attributes why because it has column heading but there's no row attributes that, that what i'm saying so what do what will happen so you just click on a here this this name look at this line name here you click on this place this name here so you now click on paste can you see that uh sorry i, I pasted some wrong, some, some wrong thing let me, let me just say this is what i wanted to copy select a select or control c okay copy now so i come in i paste it right good so now i pasted here now so this is what it is so it automatically pass will give me a unique id myself okay unique id which, which start from one to the end of my data uh, based on my number of my observations or my number of the subject i have all right so if I, I when i finish i now uncheck this can you see we, are, we have columns added now but there is no rule but pass give me automatic uh, identity here one two three four the number of my of my uh, observations so this is how you bring in data to pass when there is no uh, col uh, row attributes we only have columns heading all right so uh if you are, if you if I, if you have data that have column attributes all right what do you do so for example now let me let me create a new column again now so if i'm bringing data in now for example look at this data uh, this one has a id here for each of the uh, uh, observations, each of the subject, I have I have ID for it, which is normal. Some most times, most times, even this is very important because ID need to be sometimes uh, uh, maybe in form of group. Sometimes yes, it may be grouped ID whereby you have maybe different kind of uh, species uh, arranged in different in their ID in their name uh, or in their ID. So it can it can, it can come in different way. Maybe you don't want to use a uh, this one. You can use this one in the past. So you're going to you know, that, that pass half way of handling uh, our group data, all right? Yes, yes. Without even applying a, a grouping to them, without applying a grouping for it, that's worth handling it specifically. So, for the bringing, I just select all now because this one half has a, yeah, that's identity. So I just come here, I click on column attributes, all right? Now I have row attributes now. I click on row attributes now. 
right so in this case now i click on i click here okay here not in, on a anymore okay before we i use a but now i'm using in this intersection between a and one all right uh, under my name that name here under name column here so in that case it will create identity that i, I have here to now create my headings here that, that what it means so that identity will be here the heading will be here so to automatically adjust. so when i paste here now i paste all right so I now I check both of them. I will check this and I will check this. Can you see my heading? My headings are here. Can you see my identity here? My headings are here. Okay, that is how to bring data into past environment. So to make your work easy, then you can now maybe select or begin to begin to administer it, or just select the first line like this. Then hold out the control key to select another line. Control key, select more. Control key, select more. Right? Or you can use a, a shift shift key to select more directly from here. Right? I want to select from here to here. I select shift key. I click it. Okay, to select multiple together, shift key, multiple together. So that is how to handle data in how. Now, what if I want to bring in data such as maybe because data, I past doesn't just handle data analysis for uh, statistic only. It handle for uh, morphometric as well. Okay, landmark data. You want to you want to maybe morphology. You want to uh, 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 handle landmark data that you have collected from maybe from specimen from uh, bones from faces of man being from animals from whatever they have collected from from fish you want to analyze it you can pass can do it for you but uh, you have to know how to bring it in and most of the data set uh, have different variabilities for example majority of data comes in form of tps teens place ply that is format so if you for example if you look at this now look at this this is the data set now okay uh, in landmark coordinate, okay. If you open it here, look at it here. So we have uh, 32 landmarks, okay. It has uh, S axis, Y axis. S axis, Y axis for the first first set of the specimen. I, the identity of that specimen is called F01. That, that is the identity. It has, it has ID. Then second second set is uh, also start from LM landmark 32. It has S1, Y1, S1, Y1, S1, Y1. But this is two dimensional, all right. So the second half ID is F02. Right, and the same thing with the third and four like that. So this is just two-dimensional data set. If it is dimensional, you have S, Y, Z. So pass, pass we understand that this is S, uh, this is S1, Y1. Right? So S to Y2, S to the Y3, S for Y4. So you understand that this is S and Y. So if you have three dimensional, it will be S, Y, Z. Okay, S, Y, Z, S, Y, Z. All right, so pass understand TPSF uh, format. So you can load TPS1 directly to a pass easily. We have NTS file, we have a ZSV file. So now let, let's see how we can load this. So just a uh, open pass. Let me say just new. Right. So I click on a uh, file open. Click on open. Right here I click on Lama coordinate. I browse it from here. Right. I click on open. Can you see? So pass on the side. Can you see my my ID ID the ID here? F01, F02, F03, F04. Pass understand so it, it, it may have reached them. Look, look at the format it is here in the, in the mind. That's how format TPS format actually for every landmark data. Okay, when you finish your landmarking automatically, whether you use digit format or use a, a, a other package like HAR or whatever or package you're used to, it will come in this form automatically. Come in this form. So there's TPS file, there's uniform, a uniform uh, file for landmark data. So we have S1, Y1, S2, Y2, S3, Y3. You understand? I arrange it for you in that format. If you have three dimensional, you go S1, Y1, Z, Z1, S2, Y2, Z2, S3, Y3, Z3. That's how it will arrange for you. Or Z3. So if I want to do either Z or Z. So this is how it is structured for you. You can now begin to analyze it. All right. So that is how to bring in landmark data. So you can copy it from here. As it is now, it is it is it is in a CSV format. This structure before you bring in in form of TPS, but you can you can bring it back, take it out from here in form of sales format. How do you do that? Just select columns and rows. Look at it. Can you see? It's very, is it not very simple? Now, because you have been looking for it, how to get this part of a format now. You don't have to get it before. You only have it in form of the uh, TPS file, which is not easy for you to arrange in a Z. But now you can arrange this one in a Z and make it a proper CSV file. So just select Control A, select all, Control C, you come back to your Excel, okay? Excel, Control V, I paste here. That's all. So what do I, what do, I do? I remove this line, okay? I remove this, then I remove this this line, these two, 
period. That's all. Can you see? This is my ID. I just I can, if I like, I can put ID here. Okay, ID here. Then S1, Y1, S2, Y2, S3, Y3. Can you see? So I've, I've brought it to Excel very easily, very fast. Just to and for, for proper analysis later. All right. So that is how you handle data in Excel and Pass. So I will be sharing more later about Pass and uh, use it together with Excel as time uh, as in, so in, in subsequent time. So just make sure that uh, you turn on and uh, you connect uh, subscribe so that you can continue to uh, enjoy the classes. So I will see you in the next class. Thank you so much uh, for, for listening.